Good morning, everyone. Let me know that you can hear me. Uh, there's a lot of things here today to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to put win up here in the middle. Rose is the main one. And I may do two things here today. All the numbers are in the room already. You can just scroll up if you sign in late to see the ratings and the numbers. Let's look at the market. It doesn't matter what the market does today for the gaps that we have. We're just going to play them out the way that we're going to play them. But uh, the market is just really strong. I mean, it, the market is so great. So uh, I think what the market does in the first 15 minutes is going to have an impact on how it trades out today. I don't know if the market holds bullishly today or actually comes in. Even if it comes in, it's not going to be a lot. Whatever it does in the first 15 minutes is going to be a clue. And I'm not going to watch it right here because I have to concentrate on two good gaps. And I think you could do both. And this rose is a little bit spready here all of a sudden out of nowhere, but it's good. Uh, I think you could hold both these gaps today to the targets regardless of what the market does. Okay. But again, you have to manage yourself accordingly for what you are willing to do to hold it to a target. I did put one other watch in the room up there, but I rated it and I just didn't put any numbers because there wasn't any point. And you can watch the continuation from yesterday, but we have two nice gaps here, so let's just do these. Any questions? Jaguar Paw says he got out of the TSM at 16, the other half at 16.50. Good job, Jaguar Paw. Oh, that was a nice. That was a nice call. It was a good call. Good luck, everyone, in here today. Lots to do. Thanks to me, yeah. Thank you, Jaguar Paul. All right, little thin in here, but just give it a few seconds. <clears throat> Do not want to see some crazy spread though. Okay, I'm going to watch this win. I mean, I'm watching them both. But this is rallying first. Let the rose rally. Win. Stop's going to be 26. Don't have the entry yet. Stop's going to be 26 on this. 26 if it sets up, and I don't have the entry yet on win. 26 is going to be the stop. Well, let's make it 27. Let's make it 27. 27 is the stop on this. 18 by 27. 18 by 27 win. 18 by 27 win, and then I'll flip to the other one. Oh, there. There, get it. Get it. Oh, I got a little bit late, but get the stop in. It doesn't matter. 27. 27 and it's a baby one. This isn't, it's just here, take it. You're fine. You're only a couple of pennies after the number. All right, hold on. Here we go. That's that one. Let me just look at this. Be in the win. Be in the win. You can still take it. Uh, oh, just let this thing here. Here, the win is going. All right, you know what? I'm scooting this. Her, hold on. Wait a minute. I wanted to switch this over here. I just screwed this up. Ugh. Hold on. Wait. Oh man, I really screwed this chart up. There. When we're gonna have to take some out. Oh, I hear I'm rushing for this. We didn't miss anything. Just let that rose go. 
when we're going to have to take some out if advances at 8. But you know what? This is getting to, this is going to go to 7.75. Here, win, 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 win. Right, I'm not saying I'm giving up on this yet here. But, hmm. This shouldn't have mattered even if you didn't get filled exactly at 18. Rows. Stop's going to be big on this. I, I'm passing. Do whatever you want to do. You can do this here. 98, stop has to be 60. 98 by 60 rows if you want it. 98 by 60 rows, go for it. I'm making the call and I'm passing. Let's see if we can get a better entry. But this is not anywhere near what I really want this to do at all for anything ridiculously like the entry. But you could do 98 by 60. It's going to hit. Rose, there you go. You're going to get it. And I'm not taking it. I'm passing. There it goes. It just hit. There it goes. There's the rose. I gave it to you right there. And I'm in this. If I get a better entry in the rows, I'll call it. The target's there. You'd really have to hold it to the target now to get the risk to reward, though. That stop is ridiculous. I don't even know why that stop is that big. I never thought that stop would be that big. Um, I had it at 27. The, the, the win was a great entry in here. And it didn't bounce off eight. So I didn't, I didn't take any out. And if, if this if this resets up again, I'm going to call an ad. 775 for win today. Uh, the rows I didn't do. It's over here. It triggered. I didn't do it. I, I just thought the stop was way too big. I just didn't sell the risk to reward. And you never know until they set up. But you could you could be in it. Here, win. Is anyone in this? Rose hit. You could be in it. I gave you the entry and the stop is 60. It was literally 60 cents, which I never, never thought I would need a 60 cent entry in that. But it broke and it's it triggered. I'm just not in it. I'm in the win and that was a beautiful call. And if you got filled one penny or half a penny or one and a half penny late, don't even worry about it. So we, I thought we might have two things here. Let me just look at the other one. Here, you can do this if you want it. You can short HCN stop 76, 7670. 7670. It's 30 cents. This isn't half bad, people. First target, 76, and I didn't put the numbers in the room. HCN, if you want the trade short, I'm not doing it. I'm not. But you could do this right in here. It's not even too late. This isn't half bad. 30 cents is, is, is a risk on this. I'm saying first target is 76. I'm not saying that it doesn't break 76. I didn't put exact numbers in the room for that because it wasn't my main one. Here, 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 here. Okay. Lineage. If you just got back, you're, you missed the trains. I, if you can't be here in the morning to get the calls, we'll just go over them when we're done. I, I wouldn't do these late here. If I see another entry, I'll call it. I would not be chasing these things. 27. And it doesn't, what does it even matter? You people are asking me to stop on win. Who cares? Look, it's going to break a new low. It's going. This is the trade. And look at this one here. Look at this one here. I didn't do it. And you're stopped out. Stop with 60. That's it. One chance and done. You're out of that. You're not redoing that. It's done. Here goes the win. I'm so glad that I did this one. Yay. Okay, here we go. All right. Nice. It's a little snaily, but I like it. Can't complain. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hand is on the button here. I'm at a half a win if it doesn't break eight. Here, here it goes. 
here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. This is, this is it. I'm on a half of this any second. And actually, if it breaks 90, I'm taking the, here, there, I just got out of half. Get the stop back in for the rest. You know what? Okay. All right, I just took half of this, and you know what? No, we can't lower it. It has to be a 27. But I will tell you that one more push through the low, and I'm out of the whole thing. Let's just see what happens here. I just did take half, though, and that was the right thing to do. Now, let me look at the other ones. All right, I didn't do this, but it did set up. It what really was not half bad of an entry here for this price point, 30 cents. And this doesn't look bad. I mean, this looks like it's trying to do it. You could be in this. Rose failed, failed, failed miserably, piece of crap. I called it, it set up, I didn't do it. Why? I did not like the stop. I didn't see the risk to reward. Didn't have a problem with the rally into the open. You cannot reshort this. If you did this, a stop was 60, you got stopped out. But if you did this and win, you're still up for the day. So don't, you know, don't worry about it. But I'm not calling that again because it's not going to work. All right, good exit on the half in here. And you could have actually done, you could have actually... You could have taken the whole thing out because it's going to set up again, but I didn't do that. Let me just look at the market. <sighs> look at this. Look at it. Market is so strong. Wow. It's so, 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 so strong. I love it. Just, I mean, how can you not love it? Let's look at this one. Great call I made in this yesterday, and I think only two people did it, but what are you going to do? Don't, don't do anything with this today. And I wanted to point this out anyways. You see here how the morning, the morning, the morning, the morning, the morning, the morning, shot straight all the way up, reached the target before lunchtime, and put it off the rest of the day. Market was strong. This could have rallied and retested the high or made another move back up in the afternoon. Couldn't do it. The morning, morning, morning. That's it. You don't just, you, why even waste your time trading in the afternoon? It's a waste. There was a couple other ones. This I saw this morning too, which is too thin. This is so thin, it's it's actually ridiculously thin. But this was on the list this morning too, on a secondary list, but I, I just didn't do anything with it. It's way too thin. Look, doesn't even have 100,000 shares 10 minutes into the open. Okay, so here we go. And I will call this for another entry. And I'm not going to lower the stock, but you could. And like I thought, we really don't have the market against us. Here, when <coughs> Let me just look at some other things here. These were other things, but they're not doing anything. Okay. All right, so who's in what? If you did the rose, you're stopped out. If you did the rose and the win, you should still be up. I got out of half of that. You could have got out of the whole thing. What's everybody doing? I don't have anything else to call here. I just looked at a couple things. Wasn't a lot this morning, but there was some things. And I did not do this, but I did call this. Let me give you some realistic targets here. Well, I mean, this could really fall if it starts to get some momentum into it. But unless it gets under 76, it won't. So, you know, the, uh, this has got to break. And it didn't break the low yet. And I'm not saying it doesn't. But I'm just saying, like, in order for the momentum to come into this, it's got to break 76. 
out of the win and you're in the HCN. All right. Okay, win is going to reset up for sure. And don't redo this. I know it looks like you're saying, well, this might do it, it might do it, it might do it, it might do it. No, this isn't right. No, when something's a failure, you took the trade. If you did, I didn't. But if you did, that was perfectly legitimate. And I made the call, but it got stopped out. And this doesn't look right. So just let it be. Okay, this is really going to have another entry. All right, so if anybody didn't get this, lineage was late. If you're late in the room and you don't get the call, then you're not trading on the day since the calls are made very early. I don't want people chasing them. See, if you would have chased that, you would be down here now. So I will call this again. If you didn't do it or you were late, I will recall it. Stops 27. No ifs, ands, or buts. Well, this is really going to be tempting to take more here. I, I'm not going to. I'm really just going to play it on the down low today. But if you wanted to be aggressive here, you definitely could. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to call a new entry. And if you're still in this trade and want to take more, you can. It's a perfect ad, but I'm not feeling aggressive today. Here, you can take this right in here. Right now, you can take the win right here. Stop 27. Right here, you can take it. 15 by 27 win or just take it right in here if you want it. Oh, Lionage, that's fine. Hey, I don't don't even worry. You don't owe me an explanation. You gotta take your kids to school. That's very important. I'm just saying I don't want you chasing trades. I don't want you chasing trades late. Boy, this is really tempting, isn't it? <laughs> you could take more of this here, or you could take a new trade. 15 by 27 win. Not doing anything wrong. How to rally back. Beautiful rally. Gives you a chance to make more. Drop broke. Broke $8. Got out of half. You could have got out of the whole thing, but I didn't. And I don't even think it matters. Does anybody have anything else or anything else they want me to look at or watch? Again, not a lot today, but we had some quality, and that's all that it takes. So thank goodness for that. Here it is. Win if you want to take more right here. 15 by 27. Win. Great entries in this. It's going to go on down. Drop and break. Break to the low. Lineage came in late. If you missed it, you could do it right here. This is valid. It didn't do anything wrong. The rally back up in there was perfectly fine. It's not even remotely anything wrong with this. Raj, you were in here in a trial, so you shouldn't actually even be trading. And if you've watched even one video of mine on YouTube, you should know that I short. I short, 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 short. I'm the short queen. I do nothing but short. If I call along, it's five times a year. And if I do it, there's a full moon. And if you don't know this is a short from the red that was in there and I'm cheering and clapping, I wouldn't be cheering and clapping if I was down money. <laughs> so if I'm excited, it's not because I'm down. It's because I'm up. And since the stock dropped, <laughs> you know. Also, I called the entry, which was what? 18 by 27. 18 is the entry, 27 is a stop. If the entry number is smaller than the stop, then it's a short or vice versa. In a stock that has, an, uh, has a number of a one digit in front of the dollar sign, which this does. I'm not talking about Disney where there's three digits in front of the dollar sign. There's one digit in front of the dollar sign here, so I'm calling the pennies. But please don't take trades in here if you're in a trial. You don't know even which direction I'm taking them. So let's just review this here. And lineage was late anyways. And Raj is new. So let's go over it. This was a short, a short. Boom. In it. Drop. Break. Nice in here. Rally back. You could have gone hog wild with this, actually. I just didn't feel it today. And I was watching the rows, but 
I really didn't like the entry. I didn't do it, but it was valid. That could that thing could have gone to a crazy number today. That was the only thing that was going to go to a crazy number today. This does not have a big target, but the entry I knew would be good. Dropped and broke and fell. Beautiful. Broke through eight dollars. Is this a hard enough break? Not really. So you, I couldn't have faulted you for getting out of the entire thing here. I actually could not have faulted you for exiting the entire position here at all because this may be the low of the day. And I'm not saying that it is, but I'm saying this is not a full-on break. Anyways, I did take half out. I do think this is continuing. I did have a lot of conviction, and the stop is good. Rally back. You could take more right in here. Boom, boom, boom. You could take more in here now. You could do anything you want with this. I do like it. The next number we're going to watch is... 90, 90, 85, 80, 75 ish. Every penny counts in this as a snail. Good volume in here. Five minutes going to trigger at 12. I'm not going to do any more with this today, but you could take this as a new trade right in here, and you could also do an add in here. And again, I don't think this is anything whatsoever to do with the market, but look at the market. Oh, wow. Market is going to get over the high from yesterday. This is like, what? Look. Oh, my goodness. I can't even believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to call the SPY long because it's a great entry in here. You want to go long the SPY right here. Stop is 21080. 21080 if you want the SPY right here. It's 50 cents. Target is 213 today. 215 for a dream target. You go long the SPY. This is nuts to even make this call, but it's valid. Go, SPY. You want to go long something? This is a long Raj, and I am not doing it, but you can go long the market right here. This is, look at that. And this just broke the low. And you know what? That's the end of the day for me in this. If I get stopped out of the other half and win with this, that's it for me. Because the fact is that look at that market. I just called market long and I just didn't see that in there before I just decided to stay with this. But I still think this is okay. Stop is 27. And don't give it any more room other than that. What's really spreading? Rose? I just don't like this here now. I just don't like this. This doesn't go red today. There, that's what you want. You want to do something, it's not going to go red. It's green right now, and it's 9.50, and it's not going to go red today. If you did this as a short, you're scalping it, and you're scalping it against this wild beast of a market that is higher for the rest of its life. So that's pretty much the way you have to look at it. Hey, this is how this thing trades, though, but just relax with it. Tears of joy? What do you mean, Dave? <laughs> uh, did anyone else besides JJ do HCN? Looks like it did break in there. We have one report out at 10 o'clock. Let me look at this. I could have called this today. I really didn't pay a lot of attention to this. Let me see what the move was. This wasn't half bad. I'm just looking at some things here, some other things. I'm going to put this in the room here. Oh, Dave. Okay. 938's in the HCN. That's fine. Look at this. This is a great call here. Stay with this, people. It's going to work. This is a nice, 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 nice trade. And boy, do we have conviction or what to hold this through the market up there making a new high. Who killed it? Be honest. Write it in the room. This is where you, this is a professional trade here today that we just did. Not only did we do this, we held it, we kept it. I told you to do the ad, and I looked at the market and saw this. This is a great call in here. This could have flipped. It did go over the high. We had to stop at the right place. And look at what the market's doing. And I just called the market long. And boy, if that market runs today, it'll make a new high. 
And I'm telling you right now, this is a professional way to look at things because you need a conviction to stay with this short today or any short, quite frankly. And, you know, because it did bounce off of a target. It absolutely did. And that could have been the low of the day and it went over the high and look at the market. This is a good call in here too, though. I think you really got to have the stop at 80. It, it has to be big. You're not chintzing it if you're doing this. It's 210.80. It's 50 cents for sizing yourself. And you can even put it at 75. You're not tight with anything like this at all. This is a very aggressive call to make. It's good. It's as good as the one I made yesterday. And you know what? If you went along the market yesterday, it held the number I told you to. I mean, I don't even know where I get these numbers. I'm so good at reading these levels, but listen to what I say and just put the stop in where it needs to be. Because if it goes underneath that number, then it's invalidated and it isn't going to work. And that is the problem with this. The same thing to the short side. Look, this isn't going red. And it's not even because it went over the high. It has nothing to do with the fact that it went over the high. It has nothing to do with the fact that it went over the high, that it isn't going to work. It's just not going to work. Mr. Mom did a full R trade on win. Excellent. And one. Excellent. You got out the first target because you have to go at 10. Thanks for the call. You're welcome. Mr. Mom, is, you're doing that more and more. I don't know if you're getting in a groove with that for some reason where you're feeling like you want to take a hog wild size and get all out the first drop. But if you're making money doing that and it feels very comfortable for you, then that's good. Maybe that's what you need to be doing. I mean, that is what you've been doing. I think you've been doing that the last two months. Oh, you didn't go hog wilds. <laughs> All right. Well, you could have gone hog wild in this because it actually had tremendous volume, perfect volume, easy spread, not crazy, not wild, not whippy, very controlled action in here. And... Yeah, go for the margin call. <laughs> 100,000 shares are bust. Actually, not even, you can even do, yeah, I mean, you can, it, it, it's hilarious. Actually, I was talking to someone yesterday, and they were saying something to me about, um, it was a prospective student I met in, in the city, and he's asking me if he, you know, <laughs> if he had an account of this size, and it was a big account, how much could he take? And, I, and I'm like, you can take more than you would even get filled if you hit the button at 931. So don't worry about it because, you know, you're not going to press at 931 and get filled 200,000 shares of something at $8.18. So. Been there and done that. Okay. So Braulio is doing the market, I guess, apparently, too. He is getting nuts this week. Anyone else going long the market? I don't know why I don't feel like getting nuts today. I should have just taken more of this up in there in the ad, but I didn't. I just feel I have a lot of my mind. That's 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 what that's the truth. I have a lot of my mind right now today. I have a lot of my mind uh, right now going on, and 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 I just have to be normal here. <clears throat> and that's the reality. If you're too distracted, then you should be taking obsessive risk. But it's going to go into work. Look, again, uh, red is long the spy. Great. Dave is long but break even. This is not a quick trade in the market. Here comes win again. Win again. Win under the low through the break of the low into 10 o'clock. Wherever it goes, I'm all out. If you are long the market, then you're going to have to wait. I'm not saying that's going to go right now the second or anywhere soon. You're not in the market all day. If this call, here, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If the call I just made long in the market continues today, it is a trade that you will be in until the close or as close to the close as you get out. I'm telling you right now, this is an aggressive call. The fact that I told you to put the stop where it was, you are waiting for this to go, and the potential, and this is massive today for the target, and it's not going to happen here in the morning, and it's not even going to happen by 1030, and you will be in this trade for the next six hours if you take it. So if you can't take it, then don't take it today. Because this isn't going to go right away. And it's probably even going to pull back. 
I'm telling you, I'm seeing here the way that this is acting. And what did I say this morning? What was the first thing I said this morning about the market right now? Somebody tell me in the room right now. What was the first thing I said about the market this morning? When I gave the market call this morning, what did I say? Does anyone listen to me? I talked to the mic for only five minutes before I started trading today. What did I say about the market? Yeah, I am in tune with myself more so than ever. What did I say about the market this morning when I gave the call on the market today? Anyone? Well, I did say market bullish to the end of time, but uh, what did I say when I gave the call for the day today of the market? No, I didn't say strong. I said something very specific. Dave got it right. End line 38. Anybody else want to try before I say it? Is only two people listen? Also, this has to break through the low in here or, or you'd be all out of this one too. I said the first 15 minutes of the day is going to tell what the market does today. Whatever it does in the first 15 minutes of the day is what the market's going to do today. What did the market do in the first 15 minutes of the day here? Held, held, rallied, made a new high. Came in, held, held in the first five minutes, rallied, made a new high in the first 15 minutes. And I called the market long with a big stop, but that's where it needs to be. So that's it. And you're in this all day if you're long it. And if you can't be in it all day, then you shouldn't be in it. All right, time of the day here is 10 o'clock. Everything looks fine. There's nothing to worry about, but I will tell you this has to continue sooner rather than later because if the market pulls in and retests, it, we've got 15 minutes here to do something with this. By 10, 15, I'm out of this sucker. Let's look at what we have for tonight. So I had a good mentoring session with Lionage yesterday. We went over ratings. And it was productive. I think that some of you overcomplicate the system by looking by thinking too much about it. I mean, 26 points is a lot of things to look at. Don't already make it even more complex than I've already taught you. In other words, do ex just do exactly what I've told you to do. Don't overthink what I told you to do because 26 things is a lot to look at, so as it is. If you're trying to overthink what I already taught you, you, you know, it's it's going to be, this doesn't make any sense for you to do that, okay? All you have to do is just look at the point. It's either yay or nay. Don't try to read more into it, okay? Try to make it easy for yourself. That's why you came and took the class and paid me. So I did the work in the thought process of creating the points. All you have to do is just say yes or no, 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 check, 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 or no, okay? And, and, and I know a lot of you in here are very intelligent, and that's why you are trying to overthink things, but don't do that. Now let me look in here and see what we have for tonight. Jazz, let me see. Oh, HPQ's out tonight. Let's take a look at that. DWA, HPQ, there is some decent things out tonight. No, I don't like this. Oops. Yeah, that's why I think redoing the class actually is very beneficial because it sinks all the information in then so you see it so much easier a second time around. HPQ is good, but I don't know where it gaps, but I do like it. No, this is too thin. This is thin, but should have volume the day of the earnings, which is tonight. This is nice in here. You, you could you could really you could really go hog wild in here the way this is acting. Here's some big names for tonight. All 
right, I'll look at that in a minute, Braulio. Leadville 100, <laughs> we'll look at that in a minute here. Okay, so if you did this, the stop was 210.80, or I said you could put it at 210.75. Look at this, 75 is going to hold. If it sets up again, I'll call it again. No, this is not falling. It's You've got to be able to understand what weakness looks like. This is nothing but other strength. I mean, I cannot say enough about how strong this market is. Look, this that bar that just happened is retraced already. So you could go along this here again and put the stop at 75, but you should actually give it more of a cushion anyway, so just wait until the five minute sets up. And if you put it at 80 and you got stopped out and you don't want to redo it, then don't. You're up money in the wind. But the market's going to set up as a long again today, and 75 would have held, 80 didn't, so but this is not falling. It's not falling ever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Win, 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 win. Win in the 15 minute chart. Winner. And hopefully nobody did this. And this just went over the high. Where did it get to? Oh my goodness, I did the right thing today. This thing in here came down to 76, bounced, and didn't go anywhere. JJ, what did you do with this? Or anybody else that did the HCN? It went to 76, and that's it. Then it flew over the high. Flew over the high. I hope you got out of at least half that at the first target, which was 76. It didn't break it. It didn't break it. Man, I did the one perfect, amazing thing today, and I'm so happy. Oh, you got out of it? All right, good. So... Market, you could go long here, the market. Actually, I put the stop now to give it a cushion. I'd put it at 60. But if you had it at 75, you're in it. Only one person, I think, went long and had it at 80. Dave, you said you went long. Where did you put the stop? If you want to go long again, the spy, you can. Stop should be 21060. That, that red bar that everyone just wrote in the room was meant the market was falling is completely gone now. Do you see this? This is buying or the tail wouldn't happen. So you had the sell off. There is a report out at 10 o'clock. I don't know if that instigated this, but it's immediately gone now here again. The market is not going to sell off. The market is into support. The market is 17,000 days up, and it doesn't want to fall because it keeps getting bought. So it's not falling. And, you know, I said you're in this all day. It was aggressive to do. You can retake it or wait for the five. The cushion stop, though, was 75. I really thought it would hold 80. But, again, you know, Support and resistance are areas, and the fact is that the ETFs that trade in this price range and in the market can wiggle and jiggle, and it bounced in the tail off of 76. So if you had it at 80, you took the stop, and you can retake it now if you want. But if you don't want to, you lost conviction, then let it be, and you do the win, and you're done, and you're up. And you could still take the win, but this is very, 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 very late. And the only way you'd make any money taking a new entry and win here, which you still could do with the stop where we have it, and actually you could put it tighter at 820. And if you really wanted to do it a kamikaze, you could take it here with a stop at 8.15, but I'm not doing that. It will break the low. In an ideal world, it goes to through 90 and wherever it hits and we're out. But this could go to 7.50 today, and I won't be in it till then. But it could. That's the only way I'd do this here as a new trade. Just do what I do. And don't reshort the HCN. And this still looks amazingly good, but if you took the stop and don't want to redo it, don't. Line 38 did the HTN and he was all out when it didn't break 76. That's fine. But what happened to this thing as a nails one here? This finally actually has volume now, but obviously, look, here's what happened. Look at this. All the volume comes in here while it's falling and you can't do anything with it. So we're getting into the end of the month. Actually, today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's only three more days left in this month, and it was a weird month. I'll give you that. Market was very, 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 very bullish this month, which I did ward everyone. I don't remember when I said that. I think it was the last week in January that I said what would happen this month. Considering that and some of the moves that we got to the downside and some of the stocks that we did this month, it's almost shocking how big of some of the moves that we did get in things this, this month, 
considering the market. When you look at the market and you look at some of the things that we did that had some of the big moves, you, it's, it's surprising. But the fact is that good gaps will work regardless of the market, meaning they will sell off even if the market's strong. And the things that are good that want to get dumped will get dumped even if the market's very strong. But I did call some longs this month, and, and I had to. And some I did and some I didn't do. And some some of you didn't hear and some some of you didn't do. And some of you went long the market some of the days this month. And some of you went long some stocks. And this was the best call I made yesterday. And not everybody did it. And it actually went right up to the dream target and was more than a three-hour trade. It wasn't even the original call. It was a late call in it till I saw it. An aggressive call on this actually I think was six, seven hours if I'd watched this out of the game. But I did watch the thing that I liked, which didn't end up going or setting up or doing anything. So it's just going to be one of these times even going into March, and I'm telling you this now. I don't know exactly. Look at this. See? I don't know exactly what March brings for the market, specifically, like the way that I said that February was going to play out. I, I'm not saying that the whole month of March is going to be straight up like February. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying there's going to be volatility this year in a bullish market. And during that volatility, while the market makes rallies and continues higher, there will be some periods in there where we get some power trending red days down in the market, even though it's bullish that are going to help some things go to bigger numbers for us later in the day, late morning, late afternoon, or whatever. I don't know if we're going to get those days in March or if it's going to be April, but we will. Again, all of this has to do with your money management plan, how you're holding these things. Like, I couldn't have faulted you for getting all out of wind today down there, but it is going to break the low. Any questions from anyone about anything? This is a really a snail now. I feel like I should go back to bed. And there's the market. I, you know, it, did anyone just retake it? It's still going to go, but I did say 80 or 75, and if you put it at 80, you're stopped out. It's still going to go. But if you're back in this again, put it at 60. <coughs> All right. Galahad bought the market. Anybody else? Did anyone else just buy the market here, or did you buy it before and stay with it? Look at this. Cruiser just bought it now. Yep, here it goes. Market is going to go today, just like I saw five minutes ago. Here, let's get back to what I was saying. Here, let me just check this. Just, just wait. No, you could lower the stop in this. I'm seeing the market now. This didn't make a new low. Crap. You know what I'm doing? And I'm only doing this because of the market. Just hang loose here. I'm putting the stop here at this at break even. And do whatever you want to do. Uh, let's write this down. Actually, no, let's put it at 820. 820 here for win, and that's not where the original stop is, but it's because of the market I'm doing that. It just didn't break the low, and I'm not just messing around here today. So I just put this stop to 820. Do what you want. Original stop is 27. That's still in play. You can put it at break even, or you could just do what I did. I just gave it 820. I just see the market here now. I see it's 1015. I see this didn't break the low, and I'm not saying it doesn't, and I'm not saying it doesn't do anything down or continuous, but I'm I'm not going to lose in the back half of this now seeing the market. Mm -mm. So do whatever you want. Made money twice and win and once in HCN. Good job, Surf Dog. You're doing very, 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 very well this year. Jaguar Paw redid this five at 211 and place a stop at 210.60. Good. Man, where does the market really go today? So let's just see. Actually, I did, I did do this because I am going to do a new swing trade letter for the market. I did this last night. And I wanted to do this because I, I'm actually going to send some exact, I'm actually going to send this, my swing trade letter to these traders that are watching my videos here. I'm going to put those numbers. Where the heck did I put that? 
Hold on. And the secretary. Just looking here to see what the next number is. I saw, I wrote it, down. I did it last night, and I was just thinking very clearly. Here. We're either going to run up through straight the rest of the rest of the week, the rest of the month of February, and just continue right on up and not even have any pullback at all. We only got three more days left. But I'm just saying we either run right up straight and break through 213 and rally all the way up to 215, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, however it sets up, before March, or we base and base and base here and don't go anywhere the next three days. Which we which we didn't yesterday. Are we pull back? And I, I don't see that happening. Like I actually think we make a new high here and go up and fly over two thirteen before we pull back. So I think that could set up that way in the next three days before the end of February. I actually don't think we're gonna pull back before the end of February. I don't I don't see it happening. I just don't see that happening here. It's just too much strength and too much buying and too much crazy crazy strength. So the most likely thing for the market to do in the next three days before the end of the week is continue rallying and make a new high again. Could it base and base and just base and base and base? Yes, for the next three days. Do I think it pulls in between now and February 27th? No. Low odds that happens. Could it happen? Yes. Do I think it's going to? No. Market bases and bases and rests before it moves higher, which could be next week, or it just continues up higher before the end of the month. And people are chomping at the bit here to short this. People are chomping at the bit here to short this. Any break through the low, any red, anything, anything at all, anything looking like a top or anything, people are chomping at the bit that are traders to short this market again. And I lowered the stop on this, so do whatever you feel you need to do. It did not break the low. I'm not saying it did anything wrong. It did trigger in the higher time frame, and I like the gap. But it is 10.15, and the market is strong, and the market is attempting to make a new high again, and I'm not losing in the back half of this. Did I do the right thing holding it all the way down? Yes. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. There was nothing wrong with this. And at the time that I decided to hold this, I didn't realize until I called it and saw it and saw it that the market could ha potentially do something nuts bullish again today. So now I'm pulling myself back here, being slightly conservative again, and saying to myself, I'm just going to make the money that I made this morning in the first half that I did and let the rest trail out over 820 if that's what happens. And given the price that I took it, I'll be up in the day then if I get dinged out of the half at 820. But actually, I'm still in it, so. Um, so getting back to this, and this is, I, this is such a good call to even call this to do this today, geez. I wish I would have told you to put the stop initially at 75. I should always give a big monster cushion, but I really thought I was giving you enough of a cushion. I really thought I was giving you enough of a cushion. I should, I see the number, and then I should give the cushion under the number. I saw 80, and then I should have just gave the cushion under 80. Just like now we saw 75, and I gave you the cushion under that. Like, sometimes I call the number, and I should give you the cushion under the number. I say the number, and I should, I should give you the cushion under the number. But anyways, listen, I didn't do this, but this is good. What I was saying, though, was... This happened. Here, let's go back. See what I said here. Again, the read of this, the read I'm reading it here, what I said in the morning, everything I say right before I trade, everything I see in the gap. I said what the market does in the first 15 minutes of the day today is going to tell me what the market's going to do all day. Now, it held. Held, made a new high, came in, held, held quickly, made a new high, and looked good, but then it did this. Then it did break the low. Does that change what it did in the first 15 minutes, which is what I said would set the tone for the market today? Not in every single solitary gap, but for today, the way the market was gapping today. I said this, okay? I said this. And when this red bar happened, did that negate what I said earlier in the pre-market? No, no, it didn't. It didn't at all. It didn't. And that's why it's still doing this now and back up again and back just made a new high again over itself from the high it just made. And I know this is tough for people because people see the market make and low then under the day, go red on the day. Or if you see the first 15 minutes hold and then it doesn't, then you lose conviction. But I know that what I say in that first time period in the pre-market is right. And I really have a lot of conviction in myself for that. 
And what I said played out for what it could do today, which is be bullish and continue higher, even though it did this bar at 9 or no, it's at 10 o'clock. So again, this is where the right knowledge helps your conviction to do stuff or stay with stuff or see stuff. And I'm not in the market long, but if I was or had taken it, whether I got stopped at or not, or had to stop at 75, 80 or whatever, I would have retaken it. Why? It didn't do anything wrong. And what I originally thought was still intact and still in play. It didn't have anything to do with the fact that it broke the low of the day at 10 o'clock. Because I didn't talk about that or say anything about that. It was nothing about what I said in the morning when I talked before we started trading. What I see in that pre-market activity in the gap of the price of the gap and what I say what somebody needs to do to set up, whatever, whatever I say, I don't always talk about the first 15 minutes. Sometimes I just say whatever I say. I'm saying that is vital. It's vital. It's the same thing with the stocks. This actually looks fine, but I did lower the stock. 820, 820, boom or bust in the win. Two pennies over the original entry call, and I think that's sufficient. It should not go over that area. Lineage, did you retake this? I know you came in late. Did you retake it? If you did, what are you doing with the stop? Okay. There's something else I was going to say and I forgot what. Yep. So the market's going to base and base and base and base and base Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Strong, bullish, or it's going to make the move before the end of the week. And I, I don't know what March is going to do yet, but I just called the next three days here. It's not pulling in, though, in the next three days. Entered at 18 and holding. Okay. This even looks good here. I mean, this is crazy. And it's such a snail. I mean, you could just go boom, 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 and keep taking it. Mr. Mom wanted to take 100,000 shares. You could, you could just take as much as you feel like to here. Here it goes. And we lower the stop, and we're still in it. Here again is where risk to reward actually is all that matters. It's all that matters. If you took the train and got 20 cents in this with less than a 10 cent stop, you had two R's in five minutes, you could have been done for the day. So yes, you're like, well, this didn't hardly go anywhere. It only moved. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but it was a two R trade in five minutes and you could have, your day could have been done. Do you try to make three every day? Yes. Do you make three every day? No. Was this a good trade? Yes. And actually, if you really wanted to get nuts, which again, I was not in the mood to do today because I have too much on my mind. You could have done this in here, let it drop on down, let it rally back, hit it again, and just went and got all out of it. And sometimes I do that. I didn't feel like doing anything crazy today at all. And I was also watching the rows, but I just didn't like it then the way that it set up with that stop. But you could have done that. And you could have just been all out of this. And this is actually really good because of the fact it happened so quickly. And now here we are, we're in this. We're in this and we're waiting 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 and you're waiting and it's 1030. But it's going to go, but, and we'll probably get three hours out of this. But it is taking forever. What was the other one we were looking at? Oh no, what was the other one uh, from Friday? Hold on. Look at this. Wow. I don't did anybody end up doing that yesterday or not? If you stayed in that all day, you got out of that with money. Never broke, but it's weak as all get out. Look at that. Did anyone do that yesterday and stay with it? And look at this. This broke 10. Wow. I didn't I didn't look at this at all this morning either. Look at that sucker. <gasps> look at what that did yesterday. Did anyone look at this or do it? Oh my Lanta. I didn't even look at this. This dropped a dollar yesterday after lunch. Ah. This was really tough to do though. This was really tough to do. <gasps> I see it though. I, I just don't like doing stuff in the afternoon, but look what this did. Hm. Did anyone even look at this? Well. 
Okay, so we could go back to bed, but we're in a trade and we're up. When is continuing on the five minute chart, on the two minute chart, on the one minute chart, on the 15 minute chart, and the daily looks good and it was a good gap. Next target on this realistic target is 790, 785, 780, and every penny counts in here. And I really think you can have your order out somewhere to fill you because when it bounces, when it's done from the morning move, 1045 ish, could be 11 o'clock, could be 1030 it's really going to be done because the market is strong, will carry through, and I do not think this is something you could trade in the afternoon. I just looked at the stuff from the last couple of days. That fuel yesterday was just jimongous, and I really don't like to trade in the afternoon at all, but you could watch these things. You could watch them. You could watch and watch and watch and watch and watch them. And TSEM had such a big move in the morning, it didn't do anything in the afternoon. But the market did hold bullishly yesterday afternoon, and TSEM just was exhausted and couldn't do it again. And I'm glad that Jaguar Paw that you held it. It was a nice trade. Uh, what did the other one do? Let me just see here. I did not call the cues. I'm going to call the cues now as well. 107.75 and give it a cushion under the number I'm saying. So 107.70. 107.70 if you want to go along the QQQs. Queue, queue, this is a late call here in the cues. I only called the SPY, but I may as well call the cues here too. Put the stop at 107.70 and I'm giving it a cushion now under the number even more so. But target on this is 110. 110.50, 110.75-ish. Dream target in the cues today is 111. You can go along the queues right in here. So you have me here for questions. I have nothing else to talk about or trade here today. What do you want to go over? We're in the win. Where I'm getting all out of this for the break of the loan, no matter where it goes. I'm getting all out of the rest of the trade. The market's very bullish, and I didn't go long it, but it is a nice call. And if you didn't, got stopped out and retook it, you're already up. Does anyone have any questions about anything from the gaps today for the market, the TSEM yesterday, anything you want to talk about from the last month, any gaps at all you want to talk about from the last few weeks, anything you want to ask me, you have my time here now. It's 1025 and I'm in a very relaxed trade. I only have half of it left and I booked half this morning. I don't know really what for tomorrow that we're going to get. I put a couple of things in the room. HPQ is the best thing if it actually gaps down, but I don't have 100% conviction that it does. So... I don't know what we're going to get tonight or tomorrow morning. Any comments or questions or anything? We talked about all the things I was going to talk about yesterday already from reviewing Jaguar pause trades, showing how holding help counts. But actually, in this today, you know, again, this is where common sense comes in. Win isn't going to run a dollar and a dollar, two dollars, three dollars of the day. So common sense is you get a nice two-hour trade in this, a three-hour trade in this. That's it. That's a. That's all you can expect. This kind of stock here, with the entry that we got, this positioning, the way that this acts, is not going to go down to six dollars today. So, again, you have to equate it with what the stock is capable of doing when you're looking at your exits as well for money management. Wait, this is this looks fine. All right, everyone's quiet. Quiet as mouses. Who's in this? Who's out of it? Some people got all out of it at the bottom. Some people lowered the stop with me.
Dave is long the Russell Futures. Dave, you have to change your name back in there. I don't know what happened. You had it like that for like a week, and then I don't know what happened. You lost it. Can you change that for tomorrow? Uh, Galahad is in three things. That's an awful lot of things to be in. Dave is in the spy, two. Jaguar pot. WMT, I'll look at that. Okay. Line 38 is all out of what? Win? That's fine. Let's look at WMT. Yeah, it sure is. Jaguar Pa. Nice call I made again. It was a hard call, too. This, I'm really surprised. Look at, I, this is like, what? I didn't even think to go back and look at this. I mean, I was busy yesterday afternoon, but... Really, did anyone even look at this until I pointed it out? The, the, the entry in this in the afternoon yesterday was, like, stupendous. I mean, look at that. Well, look at the, what the stop was for that. It just, and it just rolled right on over to the floor. Um, Jaguar, Paul, you must have, or you wouldn't have gotten the WMT. You got out of half a win and then added back. What's the new stop? <laughs> The new stop is the same as the last stop, 8.20. <laughs> we only had three, uh, two stops today, 8.27, 8.20. Break even is your own one if you feel like it. There's not another new one. <laughs> it is so cold here in New York, it's not even funny. It's, it's actually, you don't even want to go outside. You really have to talk yourself into going outside, actually. Unless you're going to wear, like, a ski mask in your face. <laughs> Even to walk to the corner to get a cab is, like, a chore. <laughs> See, mail, you have a question? Why don't you just type it in here? Great Gatsby. Jaguar Pond, no, you didn't get it. The reason I know is because I talked about it. Oh, I forgot to send that to you then, Jaguar Pa. Okay, we actually have a question from the peanut gallery here. And since we have time, we're going to go over it. Great Gatsby just sent me his screenshots. Uh, let's go over your questions here. You shorted this here. Well, first of all, you shorted it at 76.40. Okay, fine. Stop was 76.60. Okay. What's your question? If you stayed in this trade, Great Gatsby, it went right to the target from there. What's your question? I don't understand what your question is. If you took this trade here and you got it on down, I said the target first target was 76. You were up money. What happened to you here? Why didn't you get out of some of this? What was the time of your entry? If it was here or here, 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 you got out of this with money here because that was the target, at least half. I don't know what your question is. Why weren't you stopped out? If you were in the trade, you should have been actually out yourself manually. Did you let this trade lift against you here from being in this profitable here? Without seeing the times of your entries here, I don't know what you did. If you took the trade here and it went to the target of 76, you must take some of it out. And I didn't even put any numbers in the room for this this morning. 
So I just said 76, and I said it had to break 76 or wouldn't get going. If you had the stop at 60, you're saying, you should have been stopped out, not in this bar, but in this bar. I'm just trying to figure out why you didn't take any out here. Can you give me an explanation for that? Why didn't you exit the position and cover some prop with profit? Why did you let this happen here? And I don't remember if you're live yet or on a demo. I don't remember if you're live and in a demo, but on a demo stops aren't like real stops. Okay, then then that answers that question about the stop. It's not the same. I mean, you you can put them in, but it's not like exactly the same as far as speed of time. So that answers that question. But I I'm saying if you, I don't I don't understand why you even let this happen to you. If you were in a live trade here, you would have been up and then down when it went to the target. So if the stop didn't fill you immediately, it's because you're on a demo. But I'm saying if you were live in a trade and had the stop in, you were up and it went to the target, you should have gotten some out here at the target. And then you would have gotten stopped on the rest of the half. And I didn't do this. I wasn't crazy about it. I didn't really like it. I did rate it. I called the trade. It did have a move in here. Would I have gotten out of the whole thing here? I don't think it would have done it. I didn't do it. But if I did do it, would I would have got out of the whole thing in here? No, I wouldn't have. I would have got out of half, and then I would have traveled in the rest. But you're talking about things because you're on a demo, so I think that has to do with why you didn't get hit out exactly at an exact number with the stop in because it's not the same real-time kind of thing. Does that make sense? From 930, it trended down. Yes. What's your question? That's correct. It did. Definitely have your stop lower to win. This did trend down here at 930. What's your question? What did I say this morning about this target was 76? And when I looked at the chart, and I looked at it, and I looked at it, and I said, this has to break 76. If it breaks 76, it's a massive target. And if it doesn't, then it's not going to go anywhere. So it's half a dozen, one or the other. And it didn't break 76. It did trend down into 930. What's your thing, though? I didn't write any targets. I just said it verbally. I, when I called the trade and said it verbally, I gave the target at 76. And I said it must break 76 to go somewhere bigger. Okay. But the, oh my goodness, look at this here. Geez, some of you are in the market long. This is a great call. I don't know why I don't, I, I should do every market call. I don't know why I haven't. I, you know, it just, have to, I, I, I should have gone long the market every time I've called the market long in the last two years of my life. I don't, I don't know why I haven't. I, I, I don't know why I haven't. I should have been in the market long overnight since the last two years. I, I, I don't know why I wasn't. I, this is, look at this. The spy has gone to 300 this year. I don't even know how I saw this today. I Don't even ask me how I saw this would do this today. I, I don't know. I do not know. Cause, and don't ask me. You're in this all day to get it up though, but this looks, it's just incredible. I have no words. Let me just see what the Acon is out for tomorrow. And, 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 I, and I'm in a snail. I'm in an absolute snail now and win. What happened with the rose? And and you could have been on the market. Nope, nothing here. Tomorrow is Wednesday. One thing at 10, one thing at 1030. Most data is out on Thursday. So Thursday will be a very active day. And yeah, obviously the market is not going to rest and rest and rest. It's just going to do it. It's doing it. It's doing it right in here. So I just got over the high from yesterday. And here it goes. And some of you are in it. Good job. It was a beauty call. Yep, yep, it was. I, 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 I. Hmm. You can put the stop at 820, go take a nap, go back to bed, go to the gym, have lunch, and come back. <laughs> it's just... Or sitting here, look at this, it's moved two pennies. This is a nice trade in here. I'm trying to eke as much money as I can out of this here today, but it's 1037. 
and I and I actually could have gone long the market, which I call. I could have gone long the market and this, <laughs> which I did not do, which I did not do. Hmm. All right. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Great Gatsby had some questions about this HDN. He didn't get stopped out, but he's on a demo, so I wouldn't worry about it. A live platform would hit you out immediately. You're talked about the fact it trended down in the first half an hour. Yes, that's true. But it came down and bounced off of a target, which I gave. I didn't write it in the room. I just set it manually then when I called the live trade. When something bounces off of a target or hits a target and you know the target, you have to determine if you're getting out of some of it or holding the whole thing. Why would you ever not get up out of anything at a target if the gap was great, amazingly good gap, and you knew that it was going to the next target and the next target? Remember, there's multiple targets in a stock. Not everything goes to the dream target. This was a realistic target on this in the day, and the problem was that if it didn't break that, it wasn't going to go anywhere. And actually, it didn't break that, and then actually buying came in. This is green on the day now, lifting with the market. Target for this actually day is 78 or beyond to the upside. So this had one quick short move in it, and you could have done it, and it, it was valid. It hit right into the target, and the, whatever the amount of money was, it was. You made 40 cents, and actually, that was, you know, Almost two hours, actually, if you got out of the whole thing. Not quite, but almost. So you can't really complain. You basically made money in the tally thing. This looks much better, but it's taking forever. And I lowered the stop to 820. And actually, you could even lower it more if you feel like it, down to 818 or 815. I've stayed with it this long now. I'm just going to give it a chance or a shot. But... It didn't break a new low. Time of the day is 1040. Market very strong, so I can't I can't deny that this has not broken the low when I look at the market, but I'm not going to excuse this for this either. But great graphs, but you were up. You were up, you were up, you were up. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You took that trade at a good price and you were up 40 cents. So if you lost money in this trade, I'm asking you why. Forget about the about the stop out with the stop with the on the demo. And, and it's paper money, so it's fine. You're practicing. I get it. But if I tell you something's at a target and you see an exit sign I taught you at the target and the stock goes to the target, whether you're at one hour, two hours, or half an hour, or 25 cents and a dollar, you have to look at that. And this went to a target and you just put a blindfold on and walked away from your desk. I don't know. It went to a target. You did short it. Okay. I know you shorted it. But that's what I'm saying. Why didn't you get out of some of it? I don't know. You shorted it here and then it went up, you're talking about? I don't know where you're talking about you shorted this. What is the time that you took your entry and your trade at 7640? Because I must be missing something you're saying here and I don't get it in the email. Are you telling me that you shorted this here into 10 o'clock somewhere at 7640? There, Surf Dog's saying, hey, I took it at 7646 and got all of it at 7610. So he was in here and got out of it. What time was your entry at 7640? Because it hit through 7640 a lot of times in here, Great Gatsby. Are you saying that you took it somewhere over here and that's why you lost in it? Or you took it over here, and then this happened? What time was your entry gate gap space? Surf Dog, you're doing great. Look, this is going to go to 78 today, but don't buy it. Great gap space. 955. I, I have no idea what you just did then. You shorted this at 9.55. I didn't call an entry here, and the stock isn't triggering. There's nothing to do, and I have no idea why you just took that trade. So if you take the trade here, it's valid. If you take it a minute here late, it's valid. Why did you take a trade that didn't set up? Tell me what this is. It's bupkis. And you did the class, so I don't even, I, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. And you just redid the class. What is this? Nothing. It's bupkis. That's why this happened to you. The trade's over. Or it might not have been, but this isn't an entry. That's what you did. That's what I was trying to figure out what you did. That's exactly what you did. Yeah, this still looks good. Does everyone see here what actually, this is a good lesson. 
this is actually a good lesson. And then I'm going to let everybody go because I'm just sitting here and looking at myself in the mirror. HCN, okay, triggered. And I gave the call at 7640 with a stop. Some of you did it. Some of you did not. I did not. It worked. You were up. It went to the target. What, can, what do you want out of life? It's a short and the market is raging. Anyways, the bottom line is Great Gatsby did not take it at the time that I made the call. Didn't even take it a minute after I made the call. Took it 25 minutes after I made the call at the same price. I hear what you're saying. But that's not, it, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. A trade happens, what are the parts of a trade? It has to do with price and time. Price, time, and entry, trigger, set, trigger, go. Price and time. Time matters. I can't short a stock at every level and expect it to go with a momentum move at a certain time that's different from the original time, even if it's at the same price level. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know why you thought that. I didn't teach you that, but... I'm telling you now, don't do that again. I know what you did, but the but you did it. I don't I didn't teach you to do that. You did it at a price 25 minutes afterwards. And I and I don't know why you did that, except for the fact that it was at the same number. But time counts in the market. And don't forget that. Surf dog. Surf dog. Surf dog. Surf dog wants to short rows. What do you think? It's 1044. The bar in the day is green. The market is rallying. It's dangerously close to making another new high. I called the market long twice today with a dream target. Rose gap down. Didn't fall anywhere this morning. Looks like a fat lady sitting on her butt at the low of the day there, which isn't going to break, by the way. Not going to go red today. 1045. Did I like this? Yes. Did I like to stop this morning? No. I didn't do it. it uh, why? Don't do it. All right, Cruiser, have a good day. You're welcome, Cruiser. He says, thanks, Melissa. Dave says, no way, Jose, too late. Step away from the mouse, surf dog. <laughs> Dave is saying step away from the mouse to surf dog. Surf dog, you took three good trades this morning and made money. You're doing fantastic. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> step away from the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's doing what with this? It's we're still up in this. It's still fine. It's still holding. Dave says surf dogs to go catch a wave and surf. He he wants to make more money though. Here, look at this market. All right, any questions from anyone about anything? I just don't have anything really to go over today. I wish I did, but I don't. Great Gatsby, I want you to think about your entries. It doesn't just have to do with a number. Would I change the stop loss on the SPY? The answer is no. Look at what happened this morning. You're in an ETF. It's wild. It's expensive. If you believe this and have conviction, you got to leave it. If you're nervous about it, you're up money here from where you took it, take half out. Take half out and keep the stop at the original place. You can't change it. And I really should have just given you a bigger cushion. But in my mind, I was thinking that level. And then I should have just given you a cushion under the level. So just take half out if you're nervous and let the rest ride up to the target. And it's going to make another high here right now. This was a very aggressive call. I, 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 this, I kind of wish that I had done it myself, but what are you going to do? I never thought I'd be in this at still 10. I never thought this would, I would still be in this at 1046. I never, 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 never thought I'd still be sitting here in this at 1046. And if I thought I'd still be sitting in a trade at 1046, I would have just done this for Pete's sakes. Apple, Dave's in Apple. Wow, look at the number here in Apple. Still snowed in, still freezing. No idea what the temperature is, but very cold. In fact, I wonder if it's going to snow at all in the next week. Let's look. Let me look at my phone. No, clear skies. It's just very cold. Apple had a beautiful move yesterday, and it's having a beautiful move here today, although this is very tough to have bought today. 
I don't think I would have bought this today. It's working. Yesterday was the day to buy Apple. Look at the move on that. Gorgeous. But Apple should continue up here. 135 is the target today if the market continues higher in Apple. Tough, tough long here in the market to do though today. Yesterday was really the day, but but this is working. The SPY is a whole day trade, Jaguar Paw. You can get out of a portion of it here if you want so that you can be up so that you can just keep the stop at the regular place. And Surf Dog again is notating for Great Gatsby that the time of the day is is part of, uh, you know, it. it's like we trade the morning, okay? We trade the morning if HCN hit 76.40 at 115, do you want to do that? Like, do you know what I'm saying? So think about it like that. I don't know if this makes any sense, but that's why it's so imperative to pay attention in the morning and be ready to trade, which everyone should be, because I am very clear in the morning about what I like. I put it in the room. I do all the numbers for the support resistance and the targets. I put the rating. I have my top pick. I You have to be ready to go. And if you miss it one minute late, that I can understand. But don't ever take something, oops, don't ever take something 25 minutes late. I know what you did, but this is why you're practicing. And it is good to practice. There was something else, doesn't I forget? Okay, anyone have any other questions or comments? Anyone, anyone at all? Good day in here for me. Not a million miles. You're better off if you went long, the market ended win. If you did rows, you got stopped out. If you did win and got all of the low, good job. I'm in this. I lowered the stop, and it's that's the end of the story for this for me. And I did get out of half of this into the first drop. I thought this could continue lower, but at the time, I never realized what the market was doing. And I'm still in this half. I'm still in this half in here, okay? And for those of you that are in the SPY long, it's this is a nice trade. If you want to feel like you have to lower the stop, then you just get out of some profitable. I think Galahad's the only one in the QQQ's long. SPY is a better call, but I did call this long. So, you know, you have to manage these things yourself. I will, Jaguar Pa. Can you remind me of an email? Because I forgot, obviously, yesterday. Please send me an email to remind me. This is actually probably going to set up again in the five-minute chart. Look at this, but I'm not taking any more of it. And don't ever trade today. Really, I mean, to be in more than one thing here past 11 o'clock is very sketchy. So if you're in multiple things, the market, when you have to really, 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 really money manage yourself. Do you have any idea how many people are not up money today now as day traders? I mean, I called this market long. That was really a great call. But I got to tell you that people are hurting here in the last two days of this trading, this market. Today and yesterday, people are looking at the market to do something, the trade, the day trade. They're not getting a clue from the market. They actually think the market's going to come in. I'm calling it long. It's working. But people are, are that are day trained are losing their shirts. You people made money in here with me today and, 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 and just be happy, okay? This type of environment is so hard for day traders to profit from. I cannot even tell you people are down every single solitary day. They don't know what to do. They're looking for a clue from the market to do something here bearish, which they're not getting. And then I'm calling it long every day in here. Whether you're going on the market or not, you're doing the calls and making it in the gaps, and we're up. Just, I'm telling you, be so grateful that you are up money here today, whether it's one hour, two hours, or half an hour, whatever it is. This market is so hard for day traders to trade, which I told you last year it was going to be. If you don't know what to do, luckily you're with me and you know what to do, but just follow what I do. And I'm telling you right now, people are losing money that day trade today and yesterday. People are down two days in a row this week because they just never thought that after that rally on Friday into the close with the market and 7,000 days up that this market would continue higher, and yet it is. And they are looking for movement in the market to do something 
To the downside, it's not. And people look for the market to determine what to do in their positions who are day trade. Unless you do gaps, and, and the way that we do gaps, people look at the market and say, well, the market's trending today up, I'm going to buy something strong. Or the market's trending today up, I'm going to buy something, even if it's not strong, I'm just going to buy something. People don't know what to do. Should I go long? Should I go short? Should I do this? Should I do that? People are losing money that day trade in this environment. And even in the last two days, so if you did nothing yesterday and went short win today, Pat yourself in the back, you're up. We will have a big play this week. I do not know what it is. And I don't even care if it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We will have a nice, solid play this week. I don't know what it is. And, and I'm still in half of this. And for all I know, it goes to 750. But I'm not letting it get over at 820. All right. All right, have a good day. Have a great day. We'll look at the market tomorrow. It's crazy though, isn't it? It's gorgeous.